We just finished uh, the Mons Rider for the girls and the boys, and we have two applicants, and thank you to them and Joan and Mary for selecting them. It was a tie. We decided we couldn't have one and not the other because they were both outstanding applicants. So I want to introduce Alex Ellenwood and Paul Talley. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Susan, welcome Susan, and Paul's dad, Ron, welcome Ron, thank you, all right, sweet note to Albuquerque Sandia Club, and it says, thank you Sandia Rotary Club for giving me this wonderful experience, I learned many great leadership skills as well as social skills, I learned that success can be achieved no matter what your circumstance is, and all you have to do is your best. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Um, by the end of the week, we definitely uh, made bonds that I don't think can be made anywhere else. Because um, these were all people that I might not have uh, given the chance to be a friend with, just because we were of different, I'm not sure, like, yeah, different social circles, kind of. Um, but it was nice to kind of uh, drop the judgment and, um, you know, just uh, meet people that I would normally meet. Um, it was a lot of um, going outside of my comfort zone, I think, because we uh, we were for we were expected to. Um, climb a 20-foot pole and then jump off of it um, in, a, in a bungee cord uh, and a harness. <laughs> that was that was probably my favorite part of the camp. Um, just being able to uh, get up there and have the courage to jump and try to get the grab the trapeze bar. Um, then there were the high ropes and the low ropes. The high ropes were. Uh, we climbed like an obstacle course, kind of, and then we would uh, take a zip line down. Um, I'm not sure how long it was. When I was talking earlier, I, I'd have to say my favorite part is probably just getting to know people and socializing. And during all the sports, everyone was participating and encouraging. So you know, if someone was someone was struggling, we'd all step up and help them out. We'd give them encouragement. You know, it's, it was a whole lot of fun activities, but in all those fun activities, that was one thing that really stood out to me. What was the biggest thing you learned? The biggest thing I learned, well, I don't know, it was uh, from one of the speakers. He was, he was a, a NASA astronaut. And he, uh, so he gave us his, his whole life story and how he wasn't really that special at all. He was just like the average kid, and he showed us his high school yearbook, and there was one signature in it from his physics teacher, something like that, and it said, sorry you couldn't make Vietnam, here's hoping you make Korea. I, I might have gotten that backwards, but. <laughs> yeah, you got it backwards. Okay, well, it said, sorry you couldn't make Korea, here's hoping you make Vietnam. Paul said we did water polo, but there was a Fun twist on it. We did it yeah. in inner tubes. <laughs> so, so everything had a twist to make it more <clears throat> inner tubes was the twist. We also played a kickball. Those had just larger balls. Made it made it harder to catch. We did uh, ultimate frisbee instead of football. Like they, they, it was ultimate frisbee itself. You know, just just like the game is supposed to be played, but. They didn't want to do football because if it was football, then some people would, you know, some people would be at a disadvantage. And there's uh, dodgeball as well. Yes, Dodge, dodgeball was pretty straightforward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you use the bigger ball with that? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like both of you um, made easy connections with with people who were that you were comfortable with. Were there any people in your um, experience there that were way outside your comfort zone that you do want to keep in touch with? 
Would you speak to that? Um, I found that there were actually people that were kind of the opposite of me and my, I guess, philosophies maybe. Um, there was a guy in my cabin from West Texas and um, he was, I don't know, we just had kind of um, opposite viewpoints in some things, but I found that I connected with him the best out of my cabin, other than my counselor. Um, I guess opposites work together well. Um, but he was kind of loud and outgoing, and I was not too loud. <laughs> um, but we, yeah, I think I would, he's probably the one that I would most likely, I don't know, talk to on Facebook or something like that. Actually, I don't have a Facebook right now. I do, but I, just, I don't use it. So, you know, it like there was a whole lot of people in my cabin. That, like one of them was a basketball player. I've never known any basketball players. You know, so he uh, and he was pretty cool. He, you know, he had a similar, I guess, comedic style <laughs> to me. It was like we kind of understood each other, and it was it was a lot of fun. And uh, yes. Did you go to school here? I mean, in Albuquerque? Yes. Yeah. 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 The whole time? Yeah. Or were you in Minneapolis? I mean, Minnesota? Oh, no, I've never lived in Minnesota. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Um, is this something that you would recommend to kids who are going to be in their junior year, their upcoming junior year? Absolutely. Do you think it's something that they would benefit from? Yeah, I told my um, little brother actually he's going to be a junior, or he is a junior this coming year. So. Well, I, I, we, we will be in touch with both of you and when we come to recruit, and also girls are welcome as well. They have, I think, 103 girls. Yeah. And I know you guys went crazy when the girls came and you were told to turn your backs to them, weren't you? Hmm? you were well, I was. <laughs> that was other guys. <laughs> All right. So good. Well, let's thank our speakers. <clears throat> Thank you cards and you can use them and write your notes or send them out or whatever you want to do. Thanks. No, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank you. Thank thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs>